Hello, everybody. Good day. Let me introduce you myself. I am uh, Luca Fanni. I've worked uh, at Laumas uh, Sales Department uh, for uh, 15 years. I'm glad to have you here today. I hope all of you are fine. Uh, during uh, the webinar, you can place uh, your questions about the today topic. And uh, at the end of the presentation, there will be the questions time uh, had by the engineer Matteo Grisanti, who works at the R&D department in Laumas. Uh, with uh, his collaboration, we are uh, answering your questions. The today webinar is about waste indicators. So today uh, we will see a panoramic view on uh, Laumas weight indicators, which could be a win-win solution for your business. This webinar um, presentation is about a specific branch of indicator we call W series. Thanks to their versatility certification and uh, IP protection, they can be used in many industrial sectors and process, both for simple and complex systems. We could satisfy many needs of our customer by many different um, installations, as we can see in the slide, for simple uh, weighing. So you can uh, only display the weight uh, um, for filling systems, for, um, for example, filling bottles or uh, empty uh, um, some different type of container. Uh, discharging systems, for example, big bags, but uh, also for uh, load uh, of big bags. For testing uh, equipment, uh, as um, could be for testing machine um, breaking, uh, for breaking uh, tests, for example, I could say um, bricks uh, testing, for lifting systems, onboard weighing, so we can weight a board of means of transport, uh, vehicle weighing for um, axis weighing, and uh, industrial, uh, industrial uh, yes, uh, general industrial scales. Uh, the way indicators uh, um, with the relay outputs are mainly used for uh, silos, tanks, um, and scales and platforms. Test machine, limiting devices, monitoring system, and lifting system, and as we uh, have said before. Um, this um, indicator um, are, uh, have aboard the um, base software. Uh, the batch controllers in, uh, instead um, uh, can manage automatic batching and uh, are mostly used in a uh, filling machine, um, but also mixing plant and downloading systems. Then we have also another branch of uh, indicators for track scales, and we will call them W. B and BGE series indicators. Um, this one have uh, specific uh, software for uh, track scales. The W series strategy consists of a standard user interface to get easy access uh, to different indicators, uh, so it is user-friendly indicators. Here, another example uh, uh, that could be added to the previous slide for a check weighing system uh, taken from a, a customer uh, plant who um, authorized us to use it. Okay, uh, we can talk now about certifications. And uh, for example, we can start from uh, the legal for trade certification, uh, the OE. OEIML, sorry, is valid in UA countries. Uh, we have the R76, uh, uh, which complies with, with the non automatic legal for trade weighing systems. Then we have uh, the R61 MID, uh, which is 
valid in um, Europe. It uh, simplifies the homologation of the complete machine, um, gravimetric filling machine. And uh, in this case, uh, um, it's not possible um, homologating only the uh, weighing system and the complete machine must be homologated with this certification um, simplify uh, and also uh, will be uh, cheaper the complete uh, uh, homologation of the machine. Then we have PAC, uh, which complies with Russian regulations, the NMI, which complies with uh, the Australian and New Zealand uh, standards, the ANTEP uh, complies with the United States and Canada standards. Here we have uh, an example of two different indicator. The first one for internal use, it means that it's not uh, for a sealed or homologated weighing system. And the second one, uh, as you can see, um, it has a label where uh, we, um, we, we describe all the parameters and certificate number, uh, serial number of the instrument. Uh, of course, also the, um, the maximum capacity and uh, the division. Uh, in this case, is a, a dual range, uh, um, um, yes, uh, homologation. And uh, we have uh, an example of the printout where we can see uh, that um, th there is uh, the weight, the data, and the alibi ID. The alibi ID is uh, an accessory when uh, the weight is not only read on the Laumas device, but it is used uh, externally, for example, on a PC. So if you manage the weight on a PC, um, in case of uh, control uh, by policy, for example, um, the uh, correct weight will be always the one recorded on the Alibi memory inside the Laumas device. Here we have uh, some more uh, certification about Hazardous RF. We have ATEX certification for installation in potentially explosive atmosphere. Uh, which is uh, recognized uh, in, uh, in many countries, but not all the countries in the world. So in some extra UE uh, countries could be required the IECEX certification, certification, which is compared to ATEX. Then we have the EACEX certification, which is compared to ATEX2 and complies with the uh, Eurasian Custom Union. Here uh, we have a panoramic view of the indicator uh, for hazardous area, so WDESC, W inox, W200 box, and uh, ADPE W200. Um, WDESC, um, can be installed in uh, um, column, uh, desk, uh, and wall mounting. The WINUX uh, has the same uh, mounting option. W200 box um, can be installed on, on wall. Uh, and ADP W200 um, can be uh, installed uh, on wall two by uh, four screw, four screws uh, you can see here. Um, the W two hundred box and ADP um, W two hundred have installed the the same indicator, which is uh, we will see later anyway. W two hundred. Here we can see some other certification, the EAC for the Eurasian Custom Union electro Electromagnetic Compability, 
um, then we have the UL certification for low voltage devices, which complies with the United States and Canada standards. The 3A uh, sanitary certification for food and pharmaceutical environment. This one uh, is a European um, standard, but it is also used, uh, for example, in the uh, United States. It is recognized, recognized uh, in the United States. Then we have CE conformity certificate, which, certificate which complies with the Eurasian uh, standards, and the UKCA conformity, uh, which complies with the uh, United Kingdom standards. Other certification we are managing uh, and uh, will, will be uh, available soon. Um, are the EX and uh, Legal for Trade for UK, the EX and Legal for Trade for Brazil, and Legal for Trade for USA. Here we can see the common technical features of LAUMAS indicators. So you can connect until eight load cells with 350 ohm. You uh, can uh, uh, have uh, one uh, uh, serial port RS232 and one uh, serial port RS485 and uh, the Modbus RTU protocol. We can have five integrated relay outputs, three integrated digital inputs, um, and a high precision 24 bit AD converter. All the instruments are powered by 12 and 24 volt direct current standard power supply. Okay, let's talk about the operational software. Any indicator has the possibility to make a theoretical calibration, which can be done when you can make a real calibration with sample uh, weights. We have nine levels digital filter selection. Uh, it means that we can, uh, we can slow down or um, get a faster um, weight reading. Um, this is used when, uh, for example, the, the weight moves too fast and uh, we can read well the weight, so we can fix the weight on the display. Uh, we can have the auto zero and zero track future. And uh, on testing mode, we can control the millivolts uh, of the load cell, the, the connected load cell. We can have a linearization up to eight points, just to uh, adjust the, um, the, 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 uh, the, the line of the, the weight, uh, so we can correct errors in some specific of these eight points. Um, we have multifunctional serial ports and uh, connection to multi-channel weight transmitter via serial port. Here we can see the uh, linearization. We can see some of the eight uh, po possible points. Here we can see uh, the possibility to connect different um, devices to the serial port as uh, a PLC, a PC, a LAUMAS uh, uh, printer, a LAUMAS large dis display, and uh, you can also connect uh, um, the same or different indicators um, as master or slave. They could be used also as a, a remote display. Uh, there is the possibility, possibility to connect the uh, LAUMAS indicator to multi-channel transmitter. And you can command 
and make calibration directly directly from the indicator. Here we have a uh, uh, weighing on board example where you can see uh, an uh, inclinometer sensor uh, just to uh, realize the position of the means of transport. Uh, we have a multi-channel transmitters connected to the load cell and the inclinometer and uh, via serial port the multi-channel is connected to the weights indicator. Instrument manager. Uh, this is a very useful tool um, for PC, so it will be installed on PC. It is a free software uh, that you can download uh, from Lauma's uh, website. Um, it is very useful because you can uh, make uh, by yourself assistance on uh, the weight indicator uh, that can be connected via serial port to the uh, personal computer. Um, you can upgrade uh, the indicator so uh, the latest uh, software will be recognized and you can upload it into the indicator. Um, by this software, you have um, many settings, so you can create calibration, you can copy, pass, save on uh, um, specific uh, uh, customer folders. You can, uh, um, you can download the specific manual, which will be recognized. You can create uh, new profiles. Um, and you can also make uh, um, the linearization uh, we have seen uh, before directly on this uh, software. Okay. Let's see the mounting solution. Uh, we can have uh, the panel mounting, front panel mounting. Um, we can have uh, Desk, uh, uh, desk versions, wall and column mounting. Explosion proof, we have seen it already before. So um, the W inox, for example, um, it is uh, uh, for zone EX222 and the IDPE W200 on the right uh, is especially made for uh, e e EX zone 121, which is the most dangerous one. And inside of it, uh, um, we supply also the um, uh, Zener barriers, uh, two zener barriers, one for signals, load cell, and one for uh, power supply. The W series software, the base software, um, has a multifunctional RLA outputs, uh, so they have five set points. You can uh, set uh, as per your needs, so you can create your own uh, automatic uh, um, um, let's say software. Uh, we have the stable weight uh, uh, and uh, the external uh, um, EEC uh, option to select, set the first uh, 12 uh, formulas uh, and by exter external, uh, in case of the batching uh, instrument, by external uh, button, you can start and stop uh, a batching. Uh, they have a coefficient, so if uh, you calibrate the, the indicator in kilograms, you have a coefficient that after closing an input, or anyway, uh, pushing a button, 
you can see a different uh, um, measure, for example, cubic meter. We have the peak tracking, uh, especially used on uh, braking uh, machine, so that the weight will stop uh, once enabled. Uh, the weight will stop at the uh, maximum, uh, at the peak of the weight. And when you open the uh, external input, or anyway, you push uh, again the button on the indicator, uh, you will see again the um, the actual uh, the, the, the way the instant weight. Then we have the semi-automatic and the preset tare. Here the batching common features. So uh, if you want to use a batching software you will have available uh, 99 uh, formulas. Um, as I told you before, you can select the first 12 formulas by external option. Um, you will have uh, two-speed batching, coarse and fine. Uh, you, you will have fall and tolerance value management for each formulas. And you have the batching resume after a blackout, so uh, you can decide if using it in automatic or in manual mode. In automatic mode, when uh, the, the, the power supply will return, automatically the, um, the batching indicator, indicator will start working uh, where he uh, stopped before the blackout. Uh, you will have many different alarms to detect any malfunctioning. Um, the, for example, the alarm could be up, um, on the approval contact if uh, it is uh, not already closed. Uh, if you haven't um, programmed any formulas uh, about the maximum weight if exceeded, uh, about the minimum weight, if there is no increase uh, or decrease in weight, if uh, there, is, there is a problem with the fall, and if the PC um, did not read uh, the weight. We can have uh, load software, which, is, uh, um, which manages mono product. We can have the three, six, or 14 products software. Uh, all of them, uh, works uh, work in the same way. They have uh, end, uh, end cycle contact, so it is uh, uh, usually used uh, to unload uh, the uh, container once uh, it has been uh, filled. We have automatic tare management, so at the start of the batching, uh, the indicator will show and will start from zero, and the weight will increase um, afterward um, until the end of the batching. Then we have the unload software, which is uh, about uh, a mono product. So um, more or less, there are the same um, technical features, but it is a little different. Um, we have end of cycle, also, also in this case, semi-automatic tare, and in this case, um, we can automatically uh, reload the, the, the tank, the, the silo, the, or the hopper uh, by a minimum and maximum values. Data recording. There are two options, which is uh, uh, the first one, uh, Ops W, let me say, Dati PC, uh, and uh, OPZW USB. Um, they work um, more or less the same. The difference is that the first option is uh, a direct connection from the indicator to the uh, personal computer. 
So uh, any data will be stored um, from the indicator to the PC directly. In the second option, there is a USB key. So uh, any data will be recorded uh, from the indicator to the USB. And uh, afterward, you will connect the USB to your personal PC to read data. Um, data will be stored on the ProgDB uh, program, which is included in uh, any of these options. Um, they can make a search by, by filters and uh, you can find out uh, any specific uh, uh, and recorded uh, uh, indicator. You can name any indicator as you prefer. Um, and uh, by this uh, option, by um, the ProgDB, uh, you can also um, watch the instant wait. The registration modes are um, by pushing the, the print button on the indicator, um, or you can close an input, uh, or you can set um, a timer that is um, built in the indicator so that um, you can uh, use it to record a, a curve in a um, testing machine, for example. Uh, by set point, you can uh, record by set point when the weight exceeds a certain threshold or returns below the threshold. Or anyway, you can record by stable uh, weight value. And um, in case of the batching uh, indicators, uh, automatically at the end of the batching. If uh, you have installed the base software, uh, you can record weight, date, and time, the ID number, the coefficient, uh, the unit of measure we talked before, the peak value, and by the batching uh, indicator, you can, uh, you, can, you can record uh, the complete batching details, so uh, the formula, uh, the number of the product uh, um, included, uh, the, of course, the weight, uh, date, and time. For both of these uh, uh, softwares, so for the base and uh, the batching, you will record if present and enable the alibi memory and uh, uh, data printing. The ProgDB, as we've seen before, um, recognize the new instrument. Um, you can make customization of a specific instrument with name and notes, uh, display of single instrument data, research of data uh, on all the instrument, uh, the filters. Uh, you can export data from CSV uh, to, for example, uh, Excel uh, uh, format. And uh, in, uh, in case of some sp specific indicator version, uh, we say uh, G to uh, G, um, you can print and save product name and batch name. OK, let's see any single indicators and some difference between uh, one and another. W light is the simplest one and uh, um, it is mainly used in uh, uh, small scales and when you have uh, you, you want to have uh, a um, low cost indicator uh, with uh, some basic uh, uh, features. So it has only one serial port, RS232. Uh, you can make a scalar linearization up to five points. 
it has no relay outputs and no logic inputs. Uh, the installation could be on desk, wall, or column. W100 is the best seller, the Laumas best seller, the most popular one. Uh, probably you uh, have already seen it in some plants. Um, this one has installed only base software. It is for front panel mounting. Uh, you can add a IP65 gasket and uh, could have uh, uh, the analog output option. W200 um, can um, have the base and batching software, so uh, all the software we have told before. It is a front panel mounting. Also, in this case, you can add the IP65 uh, gasket. You can add the uh, analog output and all the uh, field buses available for the indicators we will see later. Uh, you will have uh, both the um, record uh, option. W200 box, it is an uh, IP67 uh, um, water, waterproof grade. But uh, in case of in case you have you want you need uh, the external uh, start and stop button and the uh, formula selector, the IP will be uh, 64. Also in this case, it follows the same rules of the W200. So we will have base and batching software. It is wall mounting. You will have analog output and feed buses. And the ATEX version uh, is for uh, zone EX to 22. In this case, only the um, record PC option is available because the USB can't be installed. WDOS. This one is, uh, um, let's say, um, quite the same of uh, W200, but uh, um, it has some uh, more function. So uh, it has, you, as you can see, uh, two, uh, two displays, one uh, red LED and one back, uh, backlit LCD graphic display. Uh, you can install the same software of, of uh, W200, so base and batching software. Um, you can select the language and uh, um, on request, you can ask for uh, some more character. Uh, it is a front panel mounting. Also, in this case, uh, you can add the IP65 gasket. You will have analog output and field buses also for this uh, indicator. And both the record option. Um, you will have, in addition to the W200, the product and plant name. So you won't see only the, um, the product uh, named by number one, two, three, four, but uh, you could see, uh, for example, eggs, uh, sugar, or uh, flour. Um, you can see also the plant name. You have simultaneous net and gross uh, display, net and gross displays, uh, because as I told you, uh, we have two displays and a synoptic information for batching systems. As you can see in, uh, on the left, uh, there is a, a silo and uh, uh, in case uh, the silo is empty, you will see a low level. ADPE W200 has installed uh, the W200 in a uh, ADPA box approved for EX zone 121. There are two integrated Zener barriers, one for signals and one for uh, power supply. Um, base and batching software can be installed as uh, for the standard uh, W200. 
analog output and field buses. Field buses are available. In this case, only the um, PC uh, record option is available. Here we have a summary about the certification to compare uh, the indicators for a better understanding. Um, OEM LR67, uh, as we have seen before, UL for uh, United States, uh, EAC. There are uh, all of them, but it is more understandable. Here you can see all the field buses available um, for the indicator, batching indicator and base indicator. Uh, for uh, the first one, uh, it is only available the Modbus RTU by serial port. For the second one, which is the uh, bestseller W100, uh, you can have Modbus RTU by serial port and analog output. And uh, for the other one, all the um, field buses described in the lower slide, lower part of the slide. Okay, um, let's talk about other versions of Laumas W indicator. Um, WDES, WINEX, and WTAB. They are divided in uh, three branches. The LR uh, with LCD uh, or red LED display, uh, the G2G with small and large graphic display, and Waybridge versions B and BGE. The common features for all LR and G2G. WDesk and WINOX for Dex, desk version. Uh, WDesk and WINOX could be also installed on um, wall uh, mounting by its uh, brackets. By column, the WDesk and WINOX. And um, WDesk, WINOX uh, can be installed on front panel. Rear panel, we can see uh, PG9 version, terminal board version, DB sub version, and the PG9 ATEX version. The WTAB is the only one that can have uh, a board, the Laumas printer. Wi-Fi connection. Um, this uh, Wi-Fi option permits to transmit uh, the weight between uh, indicators, uh, which have uh, this option. Uh, from an indicator to a TL, uh, TLKWYF transmitter, uh, we can transmit to a um, Wi-Fi external module, a router, a modem, a, a modem and uh, we can transmit uh, to a mobile tablet or PC um, where you can read a uh, Laumas page where you can manage, uh, read the weight and manage the uh, indicator setting. The certifications we have seen before are summarized in this, uh, uh, in this slide. Here are all the field buses again. Okay, uh, G2G um, has uh, some additional features as alphanumer alphanumerical keyboard, uh, multi-language, uh, 99 item database, 
the uh, record uh, option USB where um, allows to um, install a barcode reader and an external keyboard for your, for your convenience. Um, you can install different external printer. You can see on that sheet uh, the specific ones uh, that can be connected. Um, and uh, you can have uh, a statistical control of prepackages uh, um, which complies with uh, the uh, OEMLR87. The third branch of Laumas indicator are the Weybridge ones. The Weybridge uh, uh, B uh, series have the same general hardware uh, features of uh, LR, uh, but with some little uh, difference, um, since these indicators are especially developed for track scales. Um, we can see uh, they have additional uh, uh, standard serial ports and, uh, um, and the BGE uh, version, uh, which is another uh, superior uh, software, can have additional uh, serial port, uh, um, USB port as a standard and uh, one Ethernet TCP IP port. Okay, here we can see a complete Waybridge uh, system. Um, you can see the load cells uh, which are connected to the intelligent junction box CLM8. Um, the junction box is connected to the LAUMAS indicator, which manage the uh, traffic lights. It records, records data uh, on its uh, database. Um, you can print all the data. You can send information to a PC or to a remote display. The Waybridge software manages um, double, single, and multiple way entry, entry or uh, exit, uh, and or exit, sorry, with the trailer and multi-compartment trucks. It can uh, have open input weighing archive, maximum 254 um, open input possible. Um, a database for weighing data management. Uh, you can have uh, the alibi memory to save weighing data in case uh, the system is homologated. In Italy, for example, is um, uh, almost always homologated. Um, you can manage uh, the traffic light uh, by uh, the outputs and uh, the total management so you will, have, you will have the loaded and unloaded products. Uh, you can have external printers and uh, you can customize the printouts. The rear panel are uh, IP40 protection with the uh, sub connection for, an, for any of these indicators. The BGE uh, release, uh, sorry, um, the BGE software has uh, and manage uh, 500 vehicles with license plates and preset tires. Um, you will have uh, um, the products, records, stocks, and name database, the customer ID, the operators, the open weighings, you will have uh, the multi-language uh, software, um, the, bar the barcode printing, so you can have the open uh, weigh-in ID, and the remote display with traffic light function, so in this case can be uh, managed by our uh, large display model RIP6 
IP65. Um, you can transfer that at, um, into a USB pen drive for your convenience, and you will have the TCP IP port. Okay, uh, the PC WayBridge software um, can be uh, connected to any LAUMA syndicator, but especially to WayBridge system um, and uh, um, multi-channel transmitter, especially CLM8, which is the digital junction box. Um, you can connect uh, the, uh, the PC via Ethernet TCP IP port or serial port. Uh, you can have double, single, and multiple way. You can connect a second scale, and uh, to any scale, you can uh, connect to uh, IP cameras connection. You can uh, um, print the uh, images of the cameras if you if you need, um, and the and you can match uh, um, the the image. Uh, to the to the waves. Okay. Uh, on the next uh, development, uh, there will be a new uh, BGE uh, wave bridge indicator, and uh, we are um, developing um, an easier display reading. Uh, a database access shortcut so you can uh, get the database by uh, one uh, button on the keyboard and uh, uh, a barcode that include plate number the product the customer and the operator last but not least on request from our customers um, on bge uh, we are developing a new connection to digital column load cell, such as our uh, load cell model COK, C-O-K. Okay, we have come uh, to the end of this uh, presentation. Uh, now we'll give the floor to the engineer, uh, Matteo Grisanti. Uh, we will manage uh, the question time. Matteo, are you there? Uh, yeah. Hello, everybody. Do you hear me, Luca, now? So, I collected some uh, questions already typed before during the presentation on our chat. Uh, so, uh, the first one is, uh, when you say wait a transmitter, is it the same with the junction or submission box? This uh, question is uh, related uh, to uh, the uh, system composed by a weight uh, uh, indicators and a weight uh, transmitter. Okay, in this case, uh, you should uh, consider to have uh, available a couple of different possibilities. Uh, the simplest is uh, composed by a, a weight uh, uh, indicators and a junction box. In that case, all the lot cell signals will be collected by the passive junction box and then sent to the analog input of our indicator. While uh, when we consider a more intelligent system composed by a, a indicator and by one of our multi-channel transmitters, in that case, uh, all the lot cells are connected to the multi-channel transmitters and the connection between this uh, tran uh, transmitter and the indicator will be realized by a serial connection by RS232 or RS485. Uh, I hope this uh, uh, answer is uh, clear enough. Okay, so uh, we can uh, go on to the next one. In measuring the strength of a material, do you sell the whole equipment or just the load cell only? Um, well, uh, as uh, maybe 
Uh, the best answer can come from uh, Luca. I can try to answer simply saying that uh, Laumas is able uh, to sell uh, the weighing system composed by instrument and load cell that then uh, it need uh, to be uh, implemented in uh, the whole testing machine. Uh, another question. When uh, the formula exceeds uh, the maximum limit, does it overwrite when you add another one, uh, like first in, first out? This uh, question is uh, related uh, to our patching uh, programs. Uh, and uh, we can say about it that uh, when uh, the instrument's user try to set uh, a batching uh, formula uh, using uh, the specific instrument menus. Uh, a set of the specific checks will be uh, executed once uh, the preset and the set of the formula will be edited by the user and uh, a set value greater than uh, the maximum weight value uh, is not allowed. So. Uh, this uh, kind of condition uh, is uh, not permitted by our instrument. Then uh, we can go on with, uh, does the weight uh, indicator can store data directly? This question uh, is uh, specific uh, for our ops.tpc or ops.wusb options. And uh, yes, the answer is yes, when uh, one or both uh, these options are uh, enabled on uh, one of our uh, transmitters, uh, every uh, single uh, weight uh, that uh, uh, will be saved uh, will be, uh, first of all, stored in the internal instrument memory, and only then all uh, the saved weights uh, can be uh, retrieved by the instrument in a second moment and uh, uh, downloaded onto a PC using uh, or a, uh, using a, a serial link in case of uh, ops.tpc or uh, downloading all the weights into a USB stick and then reading uh, the savings, uh, the weights uh, on the PC using our ProcDB software. Okay, another, another question. Do all uh, registration modes uh, work uh, with the Alibi memory? E.g., can I use the timer and uh, have the weight values registered in the Alibi memory? Another question about our uh, uh, storing uh, weights uh, and options. And uh, also in this case, the answer is yes. There's uh, saving conditions uh, if uh, ops WSP or ops uh, WDATPC uh, are uh, enabled uh, on the uh, indicator. All these uh, uh, options like uh, timers can be used to uh, store weights and if uh, Alibi is enabled, uh, for each uh, uh, saved weighing, a specific uh, uh, alibi uh, ID uh, are, um, are um, placed in the uh, weight saved into the memory. So when all the weights stored in the instrument are retrieved onto the PC, uh, among uh, the data related to the single weighing, uh, the user uh, will be able to find also the uh, Alibi ID. Um, another question for the W200. What is uh, the use of the start stop buttons below the indicator? Um, in case of uh, W200, the start uh, stop button uh, is uh, used in case of uh, the uh, batching programs and uh, it allows to start, to pause, and or to stop a batching sequence. Uh, and uh, the use of this uh, uh, keyboard button is one of the three 
uh, available ways a user have uh, available in order to manage, start and or stop of the batching sequence. The other ways are the digital inputs, if specifically uh, configured, and uh, the uh, um, remote management of start and stop by Modbus RTU or Profibus. Okay, let's see another question. Profinet is not available. Uh, actually, uh, yes, it is available. Uh, and more specifically, uh, Profinet IO interface is available as a communication option uh, for W200, WDOS, WDesk, WINOX, and WTAB. And then another question again for uh, specific for the Wi-Fi interface. Can the indicator join an existing network? Are there any restrictions on the Wi-Fi SSID? Okay. As like as uh, for the TLK, TLKWF, uh, also in case of uh, Wi-Fi option on our indicators, uh, the Wi-Fi interface is able to work as a client, so it is possible to join to an existing network, but as in the case of TLKWF, the uh, SSID uh, need to be only uh, numeric only. Uh, our uh, Wi-Fi interfaces or, and menus, specific menus, are at the moment not able to manage SSID uh, containing uh, other kind of characters. Okay, uh, we can check uh, now other uh, questions, maybe in our chat. Uh, is there Waybridge PC uh, software ready? Um, okay, uh, about the Waybridge PC software. Uh, we are completing uh, the documentation, the technical uh, documentation, also for the different languages uh, supported by this uh, product. And I think uh, we'll be ready uh, to sell the product in a few weeks. But maybe Luca can share with us more information about it if uh, he has it as them. Uh, I think you're right, yes. Mm, about two, three weeks, the English version. Okay, very well. Thank you, Luca. So we can go on with another question. Uh, if you have uh, Profinet connectivity, do you have some TIA portal sample template project available for a download? Uh, okay, uh, yes. Uh, if uh, a user uh, need them, uh, <clears throat> he uh, can ask them also using our ticket system and uh, we have uh, some examples uh, available um, uh, we have uh, i think also an example uh, an example about uh, a um, w200 uh, all developed uh, with the tia portal version uh, 14. Are there videos available about the programming of WINOX GC for batching and the formula? Um, uh, okay, uh, for sure, some useful, uh, useful information about uh, the setting of batching formulas uh, can be retrieved in uh, um, our uh, uh, training video. Uh, Laumas uh, that can be uh, that that that's, uh, the are available uh, in the specific section of our uh, website. Then we plan in the next month also to uh, realize some specific video tutorial uh, to give. Uh, in a very short way, uh, all the useful information. Anyway, at the moment, uh, a lot of useful information about batching uh, are available uh, in uh, the videos uh, of uh, previous training uh, kept by Laumas 
organized by LAMOS in the past years. Okay, uh, another question. Is there any available drawing construction for way bridges uh, referred to Raumas Lutzel? Um, okay, for this kind of answer, uh, we can ask uh, to Luca if uh, uh, he has uh, some useful information. Uh, okay, um, if um, if you mean the the construction of the frame of the way bridge, uh, no, we haven't because the the frame of the way bridge is built by our customer. We only produce uh, electronics and load cells. Okay, very well. Thank you, Luca. Uh, another question. When you download the data directly in the controller, what is the format? It is uh, in Excel or Word file. Okay, well, actually, uh, once uh, the stored weights are downloaded onto a, a USB, uh, a, a binary file is actually downloaded onto the stick. But uh, once uh, all the data uh, have been imported into the ProgDB software, they can be uh, exported in a CSV format. So in order to be used uh, with the other uh, softwares as like as uh, Excel, for example. Okay. Uh, which model can uh, use for continuous belt uh, weighing? Uh, also for this question, maybe, uh, we can ask to Luca if he has some useful commercial suggestions for the best uh, trade off between functionalities and the prices, maybe. Okay, um, for continuous belt weighing, Laumas produces um, two different indicators, but uh, um, Laumas do not sell it directly, but uh, uh, it is sold by our partner. So I, if you are interested in uh, this kind of uh, application, I suggest you to write uh, um, by email to sales at laumas.it. So we will give you more information. Okay, thank you, Luca. And uh, the last question at the moment, is uh, Laumas load cell compatible to other brand of controllers and vice versa? Uh, maybe also in this case, uh, Luca, uh, can you give uh, us uh, some uh, information? Um, sorry, I lost the question. Is about the load cell, the compatibility? Yes, the compatibility with other uh, controllers uh, uh, same. and uh, vice okay. versa. In, in some cases, yes, but uh, it must be evaluated uh, on a single uh, case. So if you have some uh, load cell you would re replace, let us know the model, the producer, and uh, we will check. Okay. Uh, thank you, Luca. Very well. At the moment, I don't see any other question on our chat, so I can pass the word again to Luca. Uh, in order to end uh, this uh, event, I think. Thank you. Okay, um, we've come to the end, and at the moment, I think um, it is all. I would uh, thank you so much for your very precious time. I hope to see you soon on the next one webinar, and uh, stay safe and stay strong. Bye. Bye.